Please sit down, Byron. Please. I can't help sit down. it. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump parade. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 417 pounds. Xavier. I look at these guys and I think two things. Boy, do they love unicorns and pancakes too much, but also they can main event any show on their own. And that's why we are oh so lucky to see them here tonight. <laughs> Fight night! Three men born and bred to throw down. And their opponents, accompanied by Butch, at a combined weight of 520 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, and Ridge Holland. That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the brutes are. The brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. With the Brawling Brutes in action, you just know that sooner or later, this is going to devolve into one of those all-out brawls right in front of us. A team of proud, proud men who love to fight. Love to fight, love to get... That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their... Sub oh, what a reversal and counter by him. He went right into that turnbuckle. Knew what was coming there. Turn around on Woods. Um, handle applied. Up and... Oh, wow. Face first. Off. Uh, backbreaker. Tag is registered. Oh, low tackle. Focus that attack at the base. Can't put together much offense with no base. incredible. You are not going to know your left from your right after something like that. How do you find your balance after that? He thinks he has it. Whoa. Kick out at one. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty. Play it possum. Whoa. Play it possum. And he gets the shoulder up before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Big clothesline. Can't quite get him there. Sent into the corner. Waistlock applied in the corner. Check out this power. Picture perfect drop kick. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, Kingston looked like he was all business there.
delivers an axe handle. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Control. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Here we go. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Throw. Just ruthless. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Woods has got to find a way out of this dire spot. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Inverted suplex. He's looking a little weary now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Oh, right to the gut. Canadian. Agonizing position, looking to pry the grip apart. And they do. There he goes, right into the corner. Uh-oh. And Xavier Woods reverses. Just completely controlling their opponent here. Has them draped over the middle rope. Take it off from the second. approach definitely Whoa. proved costly. Woods with his opponent. Oh man, face first, real girl, face buster. Off into the pin. There's two, big kick out. And frustration might be starting to set in. And set right into the corner. Just completely controlling their opponent here. Has them draped over the middle rope. Take it out from the second. Woods absolutely not backing down. Thrown to the outside. Precarious position for the opposition. Perched on the ropes. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh. Boom! Boom! Nasty right hand! Vicious in Zaguri! Xavier Woods taking charge. Ridge needs to figure things out. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Watch the quickness on this. Whipped over in a snap suplex. This match grinded him down a little. The power of positivity paying dividends for the New Day. Emphasis on power. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Traps the arm into the hammerlock. DDT! Oh, the fight is being taken to Sheamus. Woods has the tide of this match in his favor. Yes, tag! And Rosai. He got whipped into that corner. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Double underhook. 
Hoisted up. Oh, Stalling taking their time. We got all day up here. Boom! Off. Oh, forearm all across the face. This tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. still has some fight left. Oh, watch this display of power. Boom, bicycle knee strike. Oh, on the jump. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And Kofi hit with some true offensive adversity right there. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Placed into the corner. Solely focused on in the corner. I set out Matt Slam. Oh, tag made. Oh, and a kick. Right to the midsection. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. And here we go now. Elbow drop. is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Here's the cover for the win. Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Here are your winners, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus and Ridge Holland, the Brawling Brutes. And these two really do make the perfect pair. You gotta think the Brutes are buying the round at the pub after this sort of win. And here we go. Wasted little time. The brawl's underway. The bell hasn't even rung yet. If this is any indication, this is going to be a wild matchup.
Well, the match is starting outside the ring. Two teams with nothing in common and no middle ground. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. And you know, I just hope we have a clean fight here moving forward. I'm not sure you should get your hopes up. If that starts anything to go by, we are in for a drag out slugfest here. Draped across the top rope. Oh, wow. Clubbing forearm. Just caught flush. Close line. Looking like he wants nothing to do with him. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh, an overhand punch. Oh, man. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Strong overhand chops. Oh, just right. The chest of their opponent. Ah, oh, a stop. This could be it. Cover. And he breaks the count quickly. This isn't even close to over. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. That's how you wear down your opponent. Crank in the head. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Here he comes off the tag. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Toll hold on the elbow on the back of the neck. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Fresh man in. Oh yeah, here we go. Splash. And that has to knock all the wind out of you. Lands the knee. And it looks like Sanga might be bleeding now. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Tossed into the corner. Running hip attack. What impact. Comes in off the tag. To the neck, neck breaker. Taking off from the ropes. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh, and a right hand for good measure. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Across the top rope, oh, what a hot shot. This incredibly bitter feud might just be near its breaking point. No, I think we're well past break. He thinks he has it. Elevates his shoulder ahead of the count. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. Dawkins with the reversal. Ricking the shoulder. Oh, disabling the leg with that. 
Tagging his partner in now. Oh, body block. Oh, my gosh. With one hand. Bad predicament right here. Getting tossed around. He's been placed in the corner now. Hits him with the counter. That holds back Ford's attack. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Tagged in. Vicious right forearm. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Boom! What a right! What are we gonna see here? Full oh, ahead of steam! Save. Let's keep fighting. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. You have to sense that fatigue is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Placed in the corner. Tag made, tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk, slam, dropping the elbow. That could put Dawkins down for good. It's the cover. And still in this. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Clean tag for his partner. Stop in the leg. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. We might be close to the end. Yeah, not looking good at all. Specifically targeting the leg. Counter. And now there's an opening. In off the tag. Bullseye. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Saga fires back. Time. And he slides him back to the mat. and stamina to pick up the win here tonight. Winning this match took exceptional fortitude.
Enchanting, bewitching, magnetic. Here she comes. The sinister Scarlet. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Sin City. Scarlet. Don't judge a book by its cover. Scarlet is second fiddle to no one, and she is just as dangerous in the ring as she is out of it. The time for mind games is over. It's time for Scarlet to cause some physical damage. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. Shotzi is such an unpredictable, unorthodox in-ring competitor. I'd say it's more like she's demented, not all there, and she likes it. Shotzi doesn't conform to other people's ideas about the type of superstar she should be. She doesn't let others' judgment defy her. She is her own person through and through. Shotzi is all about going balls to the wall. This young woman is always ready to go to battle to give everything she's got in the process. If looks could kill, we would all be on life support right now. But don't get it twisted. Scarlett has been in this game for over 10 years, and she has no problem getting her hands dirty in the ring. The last part is apparent. And Shotzi doesn't give a damn about her own well-being, let alone the competitions. Just keep that in mind, gentlemen. Shotzi knows you have to go big or go home, and she's never had a problem going big. That's just how she takes care of business. Oh, that's gonna sting your back. Really just laying it in. Saw that coming. Oh, merciless knee to the face. Shotzi's style can seem a bit haphazard. We've seen her devil may care to meet her harder from time to time. Corey, how can Shotzi shake those ghosts? While it may seem like Shotzi just throws caution to the wind, she does know what she's doing, Cole. She knows when the risk is worth the reward, and that's what makes her such a dangerous opponent. Right to the face. Uh, Shotzi caught by the counter. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. She's feeling the hurt here. Oh, from behind. Whoa. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Some intimidation tactics from Scarlett. Reversal. Oh. 
And Shotzi reverses it. Shot block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Targeted the lower body there, and it was highly effective. This competitor has such a deep arsenal. We're about to see more of it. Spring book cover. Shoulders are down. Gets the shoulder up. Just barely, but it counts. Strikes with a kick. She scores big with the counter. Lay your chest. Air whip. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this is. Can she do it here? And she kicks at it too. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. And now she's climbing to the top turn from the top. Through the air. No matter who you are, when you crash on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. And Scarlett is countered. And she slides her back to the mat. And Scarlett is revving this crowd up. Oh, and reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Meat floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor. Crushing the knee there. She's starting to drag a little bit. But all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Just disrespectful. And now thrown back into the ring. And up the turnbuckle as we go. Taking flight. Wow, she lands hard. Shotzi able to avoid that. Ooh, takedown, skull first. Shotzi kindly requests that you never wake up. Shotzi just might have finished things. But the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. Skin of their teeth. Yeah. Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara arm bar applied. Oh, oh and it's trapped now in just that sharp elbow. Extraordinary. The heaviest artillery has been used, but it's not enough for the three. This has become a monumental clash. There are no breaks on these competitors. The will, the fire, the guts. You can feel them taking flight. Bang, what a splash. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. She is barely standing at this point. Watch out. Crushing impact on a splash. Took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Jarring impact. Oh, Shotzi manages to counter. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Shotzi brought every ounce of fight to get this win.
This loss may not have been in the tarot cards for Scarlett, but her fortune is sure to change next time. It's Miz and Mrs. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California. Weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and The Miz have made themselves inescapable. We are graced by the presence of two all-time great competitors. They inspire each other to be better. I'm inspired because they are their best when they are at each other's side. It also makes the cheating a little easier. Now this is going to be fun. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams! Trick Williams, absolutely not the type to stand for any disrespect has a swagger that tends to rub some the wrong way, but he doesn't care in the slightest. Williams is ready to prove that he's the greatest. He has put up a shut up time. And Trick Williams starts us off. He began his career as a hype man, but for my money, he's about to reach a whole new level. It's impossible to overestimate Williams' confidence and skill. Anybody would want him in their corner, but he's clearly ready to break out on his own. Yeah, maybe it'll happen tonight. And finally, we can shift our attention to the A-lister, the most must-see superstar in all of WWE, The Miz. Championships, main events, dancing shows, breaking reality TV records. Miz has done it all. I am thrilled he took a break from his life of glitz and glamour to compete in this match. Uh, yeah, between competing here in the WWE and appearing on primetime reality TV, the Miz seems inescapable recently. Love him or hate him, he's everywhere you look, showing and grabbing the spotlight.
Yeah, and it's great, Saxton. Related, you've been inescapable my whole career, and there's no love or hate about it. It's a true tragedy that I have to share this table with you. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. What a reversal by Trick. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. And this perhaps lost a bit of focus there. Bam! Down he goes. Miz is a great tactician, and I'm sure he already has a game plan. But I wouldn't mind seeing him being a bit more aggressive tonight. Remind people exactly why he's so awesome. Might be a good move, Corey. We've seen that mean streak on occasion, and it usually serves them as well. Goodness gracious. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Up and down, leg lariat. He can do it here. Power right out in one. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Knew what trick had coming. Solid cut. This could be it. Cover. Manages to escape before the three count. Not yet. Miz ready to collect his flowers and end this thing. And well timed maneuver there. There's no denying, Miz brought his A-game with an attack like that. Single leg takedown of their opponent, and there it is. The figure four leg lock. Oh, just tap out. Just, whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Saw that one coming. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. The man's dealing with the effects after that move. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Trouble fighting back. Flapjack! Face first. He avoids the damage. Kick to the gut creates separation. Oh, using the knee. Oh man, the Miz is bleeding now. Kick out. I thought he was finished off for sure. I was just about to call this one, but somehow the Miz survived. Hey, it might be time for a change of strategy. His best move didn't get the job done. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. No love loss between these superstars right now, really trying to prove who the better man truly is. And Trick gets knocked around again. Williams finding himself in deep water and very close to sinking. outside. This could be good. Right to the face. My God. Toss back into the ring. Three. 
The Miz letting him know who the real star attraction is here. with an unfortunate loss tonight. Don't expect Trick to take this loss laying down. He'll be back with a vengeance. Well, this team waiting for their opponents to enter. And here they come. Oh, this is good. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on. Another cheap tactic. Well, these two have no business out here. Well, these two have just ruined what was supposed to be an amazing tag team match. Well, you know what they say, Saxton. Card subject to change. Wait, are these two going to replace the fallen team now? It looks that way. This is not what we expected, but this is going to be good. I cannot believe this is actually happening. Believe it, Saxton, and enjoy it. Looks like... we're going to have a different match than actually was scheduled. Well, I hope the team that was attacked isn't too seriously injured. Well, go ahead, Saxton. Go backstage and check on them. Cole and I will watch this battle. So there's the battle and what started with it. Ciampa looking for the takedown. There it is. Bridging Fujiwara. The Fujiwara on bar. Oh, right. Nice escape. Nice running crossbody. Oh, kick connects. And Champa hits back. <laughs> An elbow will break that up. Separation. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Gets tagged in. Stop to the gut. Foot to the midsection. Mark didn't see that coming. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Oh, he retaliates. Great trouble here. Can he get it? And breaks the hole, but damage has been done. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Drop kick. Wow. 
Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Champa with a psycho cut. And shoulders are down. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Look out! Exploder suplex. Uses the edge of the knee. These two having an answer for everything. Oh, haven't seen this in a long time. The old air raid crash. He gets tagged in. Lands an elbow. That rebel heart on full display with a taunt from... Look out! Oh, straight to the floor! Brash decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. for something in the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. What a counter by Gargano. Ooh, man. Working the midsection there. Gargano gets reversed. Ah, striking with an A. He's getting a little batter now. Forearm after forearm, vicious attack. They are not leaving this to words anymore and are dead set on taking action. Well, there are only so many words you can use to settle a feud like this, Saxton. Punch to the stomach connects. Boom. Innovation on its way from Johnny Wrestling. Whoa! Slingshot DDT from the apron. For a schoolboy. Uh oh. Ball super kick. Elbow drop. Piercing. Just punched him right in the middle. Enough already. Drop kick from behind. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Oh, ouch. Some innovation on its way from Johnny Wrestling. Gargano propels himself into the DDT off the apron. Oh, my gosh. With one hand. The methodical champa perhaps not quite prepared for that. Drop kick. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Taking aim on the arm. I mean, we wait for all time. He oh. breaks the ref's count before two. Still not enough to put him away. And he sends him into the corner. Down to Otis, and a double axe handle 
smash. Forearm after forearm. Vicious attack. Does he get him here? Quick count out after one. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Smoke counter to that maneuver. Johnny wrestling with a takedown. We're going to cinch it in. There it is. Submission locked in tight. No, 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 no. Oh. Teammate in to save the match. Not over yet. Tag. <laughs> and tag. Good. He's in now. Finally. <clears throat> oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Able to get the advantage here. Butterfly double underhook up and fairy tale ending. Joe Coffey on his last breath. Oh no, I thought it was over. Oh, grief, this is chaotic. Come on, ref. Tag made, fresh man in. Looking wobbly in the corner. Here's a cover. Could be it. Kick out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give is being brought to the table. Turned it all around to hit the backbreaker. Had it scouted and returned in kind with the boot. What's Joe gonna do? Joe got it. Can he end it? The cover. Account for his partner. And Gargano with ring awareness. shake off that last minute change and fight hard for the win. Got to be feeling great right about now. Yeah, being able to bounce back like that is a tremendous attribute for anyone, Byron. Well, even though their original game plan needed changing, being able to shift gears so quickly is what earned the victory here.
The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day! The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. And their opponents at a combined weight of 140 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium. It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. <laughs> and it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. Something I do appreciate about Imperium is that their goal is clear. They're simply here to defend the honor of the ring and dominate the competition. It really is that simple. These are men joined by a shared purpose. They're disciplined, shrewd, and will do what it takes to accomplish what they set out to do. Unfortunately for their opponents, what they set out to do is pull the competition. Figure four. Wait, what? Figure four. Oh, manages to turn it around. Pressure's been reversed. Getting him into the corner. They're going to close things off with an underhook suplex. gray area. Hung out to dry. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. He's turning the tables. Catches an uppercut. Boom, a forearm smack. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. 
midsection. Balor not exact. He can end it here. And he powers out. Very close. The T clearly set again. Placing them into the corner. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? And will this be it? And he manages to kick out in one. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Sweeps the legs. Stop! Looking for the submission. Inverted figure four leg lock. This could be it. Giovanni's resolve might be wavering here. Vinci's not showing any capacity to fight back. He went right into that turnbuckle. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. My God, enough! He's tagging out. Tag made, tag made. Yeah. Turning the tables there. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Quick sidestep by Vinci. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Snap mail right. Surfboards. He needs to find an escape route. Nice. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Some might call that showing off. But what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. I can't believe someone that big can fly like that. Look at this. Just what a barrage of stops. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Well, that clothesline hurt. Holding on for more. And a second. They say the third time's the charm. Will that be the case? His shoulders are down. Stops the count before it, too. Still in it. And Vinci turning it around. Left by the turnbuckles. Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. Oof. Uh-oh. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, and now Priest's bleeding. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top run. Tag is made. Proved to be irreparable. There he goes, right into the corner. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike.
Going down in defeat like this will not sit well with Imperium. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork. Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Just look at the happy couple. Oh, do we have to? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women. The gruesome twosome of the Judgment Day. With Rhea's brutality and her dom-dom's willingness to do whatever she tells him to do, these two make quite the formidable pairing together. Well, whatever mommy wants, mommy gets, Cole. Dirty Dom understands that simple facet of life, as we all should by now. This is what the Judgment Day is all about. Ready to wreak havoc no matter the time and place. Dominic and Rhea simply revel in it. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. She is about to go one-on-one -on -one with the Eradicator. And you know Rhea Ripley is set on destruction. We're underway with Rhea Ripley. Ripley wants to take down the establishment, leaving it in a heap with fallen opponents scattered amongst the wreckage. Rhea calls herself the Eradicator. She turns people's lives into nightmares and obliterates their world. 
An opponent's demise is a celebration of Rhea's power. This woman is a physical phenomenon. Since Ripley's embraced the darkness, she's become more powerful than she ever imagined. The more darkness she brings, the more brutality she releases. And on the other side of the ring is Cora Jade, who proves time and time again just how tough she really is. Absolutely steps up every time that bell rings. It should be interesting. Play it possum! Whoa! Play it possum! And a kick out before the count even begins. Could be in search of a second win now. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Cora gets waylaid. Evades the attack. Series of reversals. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Over time, we've seen Cora J transform from a perennial underdog to quite the ruthless competitor. Is that ruthlessness going to come into play tonight, Corey? Oh, absolutely, Cole. Cora Jade's really leaned into that vicious streak that was always just bubbling underneath the surface. Smart Money says she'll continue to do that here. Shining Wizard! Gotta find a way back into the ring now. Before the count runs out. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? This is why it's good to have a manager. Good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do. And will introduce any tool to produce victory. Ah, uh, she's trying. Trying to create space. Places her right in the corner. A bulldog. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Shot right to the kidney. Oh, sit out slam. Things not going how she'd like. Ripley delivered that move with every ounce of spite in her body. From the top. Oh, can she do it here? An emphatic victory. comes out on the losing end here. Ripley brought her brand of brutality to this match, and it paid off. And this begs the question, who can stop the Eradicator? Make way for the ring general, Gunther. Six foot five, nearly 300 pounds of pure malice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. Gunther! Six foot four. 265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring. And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. 
Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, he'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. Buckle up, it's time for the highlight of the night. When Ricochet is on your screen, prepare to witness an athletic spectacle like you've never seen before. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, From the moment Ricochet laced up a pair of boots, he defied the odds. Doubters telling him he couldn't make it. Haters telling him to quit. He never lost sight of making his dream of competing in WWE a reality. Yeah, think about this. Ricochet has already earned a North American title, the United States and Intercontinental Championships, and the SmackDown Cup. Now that he has that confidence that comes with those big wins, Ricochet is not backing down from anyone. The one and only Ricochet looks ready as ever to flex his gravity-defying skills. This guy moves around like he has cheat codes switched on. No denying it. The things Ricochet does in the ring are just amazing. But if he wants to win tonight, he'll need more than just flips and fancy moves. There's no room for showboating in a WWE match. Believe me, Corey, no one knows that better than Ricochet. He knows when it's time to be flashy and when it's time to get serious and fight to win. And he better be prepared to prove his worthiness to the ring general. I don't know if anyone can prove that to Gunther, Corey. He's got a bit of a superiority complex, and I don't think anyone can shake it out of him. Man. Watching Ricochet, how crucial is it for him to find his kind of fight? What giant goes into the pin, gets his shoulder up before the two count. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. He's got him scouted. Oh. Suplex, here it comes. Nicely done. And Ricochet adapts. Oh, no! Flying with the moonsault. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Able to give him the slip. of Ricochet that most people don't know about. It's a good look on him. Oh, and a rear super kick! From behind, nasty. Now he's been put on the defensive. Beautiful strike combination. Ooh. And a DDT to follow it up. Ooh Able to parry that one. Take you out for good. 
just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. And I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, face stop. Look at that, countering Ricochet. Ricochet heads up, thinking high risk. Uh-uh. No way. Shooting star pressed by Ricochet. Beautiful. Oh, and he just kicked out. Gunther is down, but not out. Such a competitive drive, refusing to let this be over. What else does Ricochet need to do tonight? He's given everything, but still hasn't ended this. Oh, costly error there. Gunther wants to finish this. Driven down with the power bomb. Gunther might just have it. Near fall. They don't call a superhero for nothing. How else do you explain that kick out from Ricochet? The man is not human. And Gunther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. His opponent is just overwhelming him here. Not what you want to see by any means. Top rope, here we go. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Sky high. Whoa, what a landing. Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Oh, a hip rock to the gut. This offense causing Ricochet to wind down. Gunther seizing every opening. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ricochet now is fighting his kind of fight. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. Crucifix head scissor. Wow, what a drop kick. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm. Got a roll. Wait a second. Into the panel kick. And Gunther now finding himself on the wrong side of momentum. Gunther has to create an opportunity to retaliate. Uh -uh. No way. Ricochet with the shooting star. Wow, Ricochet got it. Gunther with a tough loss tonight. Pretty stunning to see the ring general get outmaneuvered. I think Gunther is as shocked as the WWE Universe right now.
Ships, Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Take what's his, Baron Corbin is ready to go. And believe me, Corbin has zero concern about the wreckage and collateral damage. He looks great with all that gold on him. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the undisputed WWE. Just think about the grind that comes with being a double champion. As great as the glory. And things breaking down before the match even starts. At a certain point, you have to be ready for something like this. You get caught sleeping, you deal with the consequences. The referee issuing a warning here. I wanted to see this match. I hope the ref doesn't call it off. Well, I actually agree with you, Saxton. I hate to say it, but you have to think Rollins' worst enemy in this match might ultimately be himself. I absolutely agree. Rollins goes in expecting victory, and when it doesn't come easily, he tends to get sloppy. My advice to him, don't get caught in your own head. Rollins just a step too slow. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Ooh, what a forearm. Rollins with a schoolboy takedown. Oh, what a super kick from the architect. the knee. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, Rollins at this stage getting visions of winding this battle down. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Action has made it back to the ring and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hand. Look out! Look at the fight! And Seth taking some time to, well, who knows what his thought process is at this point. He's been placed in the corner now. Stuck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Ah, he's got that boot right up against his face. Come on. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull. Take off. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. What started with strong words 
feuds and healthy locker room competition has snowballed into an out-of-control feud between these competitors. It's been an interesting story to watch from ringside. Each new chapter has been more dramatic than the last. Rivalries like this are what legends are made of. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Just disrespectful. That's telling your opponent, you don't deserve to share this stage with me. Oh, there's the old... Stump puller leg snap, very effective. He has just completely lost his wind. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. The night looks to be coming to an end for the Lone Wolf. Oh, foot just, he thinks he has it. Just kicks out. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? A oh, club with a right forearm. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Vicious. You can't get caught in a hail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing possum. I love it. And it's all over. Seth Rollins gets him. That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times.